Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will break down for you how to make money with various work from home jobs on remote tasks. How does it work? What are the pros and cons of utilizing this platform? And most importantly, how much can you expect to earn? Well, we're going to find out soon enough. So without further ado, let us get started. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're on the homepage of remote tasks. For those of you who have never heard of this website before, let me outline in just a few words what it has been designed for. It is actually quite simple. So according to their homepage, they give registered members the opportunity to earn money by doing online tasks from home. You may join their over 240,000 taskers from more than 90 countries from all over the world who have earned already $15 million in total on remote tasks and start earning for yourself by completing so-called micro tasks. What kind of tasks exactly? Well, tasks like labeling data or transcribing audio files, for example, or image annotations. In general, tasks that don't require any prior expertise and that can be done conveniently from the comfort of your own home. Once a member, you may start with something simple, for instance, with marking or pointing out objects on images or with converting an audio file into written text. After you have completed a bunch of assignments, you will be given a chance to level up and get trained on more difficult tasks that pay more. Plus, their members enjoy a flexible schedule and may work from anywhere, anytime. You absolutely don't need any fancy equipment to work for remote tasks. All you need is a computer and access to the internet. Now, you might be asking, why should anybody pay you for marking objects on images or for labeling data? And most importantly, how much can you expect to make per completed task? Well, according to this information I found on their website, remote tasks pay you to label data because that data is then used to create artificial intelligence systems for tech companies around the world, which explains a lot. What exactly is data labeling? Well, it is when you point out objects of interest in the picture, video or 3D scene and give a description of what the objects are. For example, you might get asked to mark or point out objects you see on pictures, videos and even objects represented in 3D space. Like you see on these example screenshots here, the more difficult it is for the tasker to spot and point out these objects, the more he or she may expect to earn per assignment naturally. How many different labels you will have to find and point out? Sometimes they are looking to label just a few types of things like a person or a car. And sometimes though, they are looking for more types of things like five plus types of cars and five plus types of roadway obstacles. Other times they are labeling everything in the scene. So that may differ from task to task. You will get paid per accepted and completed task. The height of your payment will vary depending on the task's complexity and difficulty for various reasons. They pay their members via PayPal on Thursday, so make sure you're in possession of a valid email address on PayPal to be eligible to receive your payment on time. Also, when calculating the pay per each task, they consider the following three things, namely the task's difficulty, how difficult is the given task, a categorization task for instance is very easy and quick to do but it may only pay a few cents. A semantic segmentation task on the other end though is harder and pays more per task which makes sense. The earner's accuracy, how good was your work, did you label all the objects that needed to be labeled, did you label them correctly, was your work precise or was it sloppy. They reward accuracy as well, in other words, following instructions closely. An accuracy of 100% per completed task pays you more than an accuracy of 50%, pretty trivial I'd say. And lastly, your contribution. How much of the completed task or final submission was the result of the work you did? Remember that other workers and reviewers may also add and fix labels on your task if you missed something in the instructions, so you always want to follow instructions carefully to maximize the pay. All right, so to get started, click on this button here, sign up using either your Google or your Facebook account. And once you have done that, they will ask you a couple of short and simple questions before you will be given access to your freshly created tasker account. For example, how many hours you're planning to work for them, what languages you speak fluently, and where you're located in. Next, tell them what devices you want to use for the upcoming data labeling tasks here on their platform, like your computer, your Android smartphone, or your iPhone. You can skip that for now if you like. However, I recommend answering to these questions as soon as possible, because the more complete your tasker profile is, 
the easier you will make it for their algorithm to find tasks for you that match your skills and preferences later. And lastly, they will ask you to complete a short introduction course that will teach you the basics of completing tasks on their platform and also give you a couple of security tips. And once you have completed their security training, you will be given access to your Tasker account so that you may start your first paid assignment. This is how your account will look like once you have successfully signed up. Now, before you approach your first task, I would suggest you set up a payment method first. Head over to the withdrawal section of your account, select either PayPal or RTM as your payment provider, the country of your residency, and once that's done, head back to your account's home screen and approach your first paid task. Remember, to unlock higher paying tasks, you will have to complete a couple of the less paying ones first. Or to skip that and increase your payment per task right from the get-go, you may sign up for their virtual bootcamp to get trained and taught on how to work on some of the highest paying tasks by certified trainers. It is free and you can join their bootcamp by clicking on this button here and by filling this short registration form on the next page. Once you've completed that bootcamp with success, you will be given the chance to earn between $100 and $250 per month with the data labeling tasks here on Remote Tasks, which is not too much, but on the other end, spotting objects on images is actually one of the simplest tasks I can think of, so I'd say you don't expect to get insanely wealthy by working for these guys, but instead you treat this like a nice and somehow also enjoyable side hustle. Also, you can work on your image annotation and data labeling skills and practice a bit by simply joining their training center. And as a cherry on top, members are given the opportunity to acquire various certifications by completing exams in several languages. Acquiring these certifications will allow you to unlock projects that require special skills, for example, advanced English or Spanish skills. So yeah, that's how you can earn money by completing micro tasks and work from home jobs on remote tasks in 2023. Well, and that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.